Hello, this video will explain how to complete the Chapter 8 Literary Analysis text-based paragraph. So after you have looked at the Water, Water Everywhere slides and or video, you will be ready to complete this assignment. Here's your prompt. In a well-organized paragraph, analyze the symbol symbolism of water in The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Be sure to include two pieces of evidence from the text. So I'm just going to highlight this word analyze. I'm going to add a quick note. That means to look at it closely, right? And we know that a symbol, I'll highlight this and add a little bit, right? When something often concrete represents abstract, right? I'm going to give a little example, American flag, right, equaling the idea of independence Oops. and freedom, right? So there's just a quick little example for you of something abs or concrete representing something abstract, right? We can't hold independence and freedom in our hand, but the American flag, a concrete item that we can hold in our hand, represents that idea, symbolizes that idea. And we need to have two pieces of evidence from the text. So the way that you're going to organize this paragraph is going to be with a topic sentence that's your main claim, okay? That claim is going to answer the prompt, right? So what does water symbolize? You want to be specific. Ask yourself, we see that idea coming up again and again and again, what does that symbolize? What does that mean? Okay. What, in, what, every time water pops up, what is happening? Okay. And to give you some hints, you might want to watch the water, water everywhere video um, and sort of ask yourself every time we see water, what is happening? Then you're going to build two ACEs or CERs. Okay. One, your first ACE is going to be, what is one example of water, uh, water symbolism in the Great Gatsby? Okay. You're going to want to write a sentence that claims, you know, something to the effect of an, one example of water in the Great Gatsby is the rain that often um, is occurring during a specific part of the text. Then you're going to want to cite one of the um, pieces of evidence from the book. Let me fix that. To support your, your claim. And again, if you take a look at the um, Water, Water Everywhere slides, you there's some great pieces of evidence. You might want to go back to the assignment um, that is the literary analysis for Chapter 5. Um, from, I should put from the book, sorry guys, um, to support your answer. Then here's where I want you to spend the bulk of your time. I want you to spend the bulk of your time explaining how and why your evidence supports your claim. You should use some words like water and symbolism for sure in your explanation and reasoning. Remember, this should be as long, if not longer than your embedded quote. This is where your bulky part of your ACE or CER comes from. You are analyzing or looking closely at what water symbolizes. Think about the role that water plays in the book. If there's a reason why water keeps popping up in The Great Gatsby, okay? Then you're going to find another example, okay, of water from the book to support your claim. And again, if you want to take a look at the slides, the Chapter 5 Literary Analysis, we see water again and again and again. You're going to want to make sure that you embed an MLA um, site your, uh, your evidence, okay? And then, again, spending the bulk of your, your, para or your ACE explaining, really explaining what it symbolizes. What is that impactful, impactful role of water in the book, okay? Think about why. Why does Jay Gatsby meet Dan Cody on a lake? <sighs> because he is going to then transform or change into Jay Gatsby through Dan Cody. Dan Cody is going to teach him the ways. 
So you really want to talk about, it's not just a, an insignificant detail that they're on Lake Superior. That's a really important, impactful detail, right? Because that water is very symbolic of Gatsby's transformational change, okay? Then your conclusion sentence. Overall, what's the significance or impact of water in the novel? Overall, why is water so important? Why does Fitzgerald keep bringing up water again and again and again and again? Okay. Make sure that you have transitional words between your aces. Things like to begin, to start, to continue, for example. Sorry, guys. Um, that helps your reader sort of see the little signposts or the, the guides that some, you know, you're moving on to your next idea. Make sure that you are not using first person. I noticed a lot of that in your American Dream paragraphs. I believe, I think, according to my evidence, okay? Um, let me add my to that right there. Um, or, you know, you, you will know or you should know. You're going to understand this. Please don't use second person in academic writing. These are two skills that we need to make sure that we um, are practicing, um, not using these words as we finish up the semester and you then move on to senior English next year. You're going to type your response below. Make sure that you read it before you submit it. Um, and if you have any questions, just let us know. Thanks, guys.